Okay, so part of your practical assessment entails a dummy drag. Um, so the dummy representing casualty is 70 kilograms and you are keeping your back straight. These bend and you're dragging all the way back around the cones and it is timed. So I'm just going to demonstrate how that you do this. Once you're ready and you're comfortable with your casualty, you dummy, the time will start. So you've just seen the uh, casualty drag uh, simulation that I've just done at headquarters. Um, so to replicate that that at home, um, ideally, if you've got an adult male, um, you want to just drag him around. Um, your the way that you you handle a casualty, um, if you're dragging them by yourself, is your arms are going to go under their arms. Um, and then you're always going backwards and um, so the, the weight of the dummy is 70 kilograms so if you can get someone who is that weight or heavier and you can practice with them great um, I don't have an adult male at home um, I have two kids so you can do it with kids um, I've done it with my two uh, we've normally done it inside though rather than outside um, I've normally just put them in a sheet and told them to cling on and I've dragged the sheet rather than dragging them and got them both to sit in it together. It's quite fun actually. Um, other ways that I've discovered as well is paddling pool. Um, this is just, this is an old, old one, needs chucking out. Um, but you'd be surprised at how heavy and how difficult these are to move when they've got, they don't need to be full, but uh, just a, a small amount of water out, how difficult they are to move. So that's quite a good one to try. Um, another one, we've not got a sheet, an old pillowcase, fill that with weights, um, anything, big bottles uh, full of sand, pebbles, um, anything, anything really. Uh, you'd be surprised how many people have old weights, just plates um, of weights lying around um, at home, in cupboards, in garages, um, you know, use them. Ask friends if they've got anything that you can borrow. Um, people are always glad to help out. Um, the other one, which is quite a good one as well, um, is to use your wheelie bin. Um, if your wheelie bin's just been emptied, or even if it's not just been emptied, I tend to find the garden ones are the best ones because they tend to be heavier. Um, don't put it aside with the wheels. Put it on the other side. Put it down. You can uh, actually improve the strength so a lot of it so when you're dragging is you, you're pulling back so it is the top of your back that you're using um, arms as well um, is I've looked at this so a gardening tool um, with the paint pot on it where was this got a fair bit of, bit of weight and then you're doing uh, a bent over row pull it back and that will also improve the strength as well um, but again same as on the rural simulation up the weight as much as you can um, do it to your level and then gradually increase it make sure you do increase make sure you're doing it with your um, layers on and make sure you've got wellies on or something that isn't the normal kind of footwear that you'd use uh, for training something that you're not comfortable in um, that's the key good luck